bring in Jeff Sika. Jeff, we got food and energy inflation. We've been talking a lot about that, but it, it goes far beyond that, doesn't it? Yeah, I mean, food and energy is bad enough. But, but when you look at, we, we have a population that 40% of people rent and don't own. And those 40% are seeing the biggest escalations in their rents that they've seen in history. And what's happening is because we have all this inflation, uh, there's not a lot of construction. So you look at big markets like New York, San Francisco, Los Angeles, Miami, you look at big markets, supply is off by about 85 to 90 percent pre-pandemic, which means you have a lot of people that, that, that want apartments and not a lot of apartments. I didn't do really well in economics in college. I don't even think I passed it, but I know the rule of, of supply and demand. There's a ton of demand, not a lot of supply, and that's allowing markets like New York, for example, which was in the doldrums during the pandemic, is now at rents are higher in New York now than pre-pandemic because of supply. Now, the, the other side of this coin is that, as usual, politicians are overreacting right. and, and coming up with these no eviction laws. Right. That is to say, if, if, if people say they can't afford it, they won't pay anything, you can't, as a landlord, do anything about it. Right. And, and, you know, I, I'm a developer. And one of the things I don't, I don't want to tell people I'm a developer because a lot of people hate developers, especially certain politicians and politicians that are saying, well, we can't have evictions or we're going to build a lot of a, a, a lot of low income housing. There's a problem with that because we are in a business and we want to build and we want to provide houses, homes and apartments for everybody. But when you tell people they don't have to pay for for your prod product, they could live there for free and nobody's going to do anything about it. You're going to have a lot of people that a lot of developers, a lot of uh, uh, construction co companies that are just going to sit on their hands and say, why bother? Why spend all this money when we're going to build a product that the government is going to allow people to get for free? So where does all this end? I mean, the, the fact is New York has this terrible, as a lot of cities do, a terrible crime problem. We still have vaccine mandates in, in some form here in New York. Other cities do as well. And now the problem with the rent. I mean, are people just going to stop living in these cities, these Democrat-led cities? Well, uh, yeah, because look at look at what's happening. I mean, take Miami, for example. Now Miami is the most expensive city to live in. Mm. The reason for that is people are leaving New York, San Francisco, Los Angeles to go to places my, like Miami. But the problem that all of these cities have is they're not building enough. You know, for oil, yeah. they say to get oil prices down, drill, that's very true for for rents to get rents lower we need to build we need to build and provide housing at an affordable rate right. you have now a lot of these cities they not only have a high demand for leases there's bidding wars going on for for renters so if we don't do something about this soon, there's going to be a lot of people with no place to live. Another thing to worry about. Jeff yeah. Sika, good to see you, my Thank friend. You, Thank man. you very much. Uh, 